Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for joining us in our breakout session. Our topic is low migration for UV inkjet printing. My interview partner is Martin Leonhardt. He is responsible for developing new business area with Gallus. Today, we want to find out what's really new about Gallus low migration solution. Martin, low migration has been an issue in the printing industry for decades and mm -hmm. conventional printing solutions are already well established. So what's really new about the low migration solution for UV inkjet printing? The real challenge in UV inkjet printing is the required low viscosity of things. When you look into conventional printing, the producers are using larger molecules to prevent the ingredients of the inks to migrate through the substrate into the filler goods. Unfortunately, this does not work with UV inkjet inks. The required resolution is calling for very, very small jets and if you would use larger molecules, they would tend to block these jets. So low viscosity inks are asking for very small ingredients to avoid blocking the nozzles. But what is really new about the Gallus low migration solution on the label fire? Well, for also for us, the low migration ink is our key component and there the choice of the right ingredients is of the essence. <coughs> they have to be compliant with the European Print Association regulations or OIPIA and they have to meet the Swiss ordinance criteria. However, the bucket of ingredients you can choose from is becoming smaller and smaller by the steadily changing legal regulations. In the end, it's also all about purity of these ingredients. So Gallus has this low migration ink available, which is developed by Heidelberg, but this is not all, is it? Correct. For us, the ink is only one component in a whole low migration system. It's consisting out of high performance low migration inks, then we need a curing process under inert conditions or nitrogen. We are adding also a UV booster and it's all complemented and completed by an optimized prepress solution. So we have a system approach out of prepress, ink and press. So it's the combination of software, chemistry and hardware that leads to success. Probably this approach works if only you can provide all three components from one source, like Heidelberg does. But uh, can you explain that more in detail? Sure, I'm glad to. Now, especially at the pre-press stage, we are using a reduced volume approach. That means we have a special algorithm who will minimize the ink laid down on the substrate to reach a target color. We are following the guiding motto, what's not on the substrate can also not migrate. So the applied ink film must be optimized in that way that as few components as possible can migrate as a result of quantity that's being applied? Correct. The guiding principle uh, we are following in the overall ink development. We are using only the purest ingredients the, and the least amount of ingredients that are able to migrate. And then to ensure good curing results, especially with a very, very low photo initiator ratio, we need to have iner an inert curing process under nitrogen and that will be complemented then by the UV booster, as you have seen a couple of minutes ago in our demo in, on the label fire. And the whole system is being complemented by sensors, which are able to measure and document the residual oxygen values, as well as the UV radiation intensity. Does that mean if I invest in a low migration system like the label fire, 
I will be able to produce low migration compliant food labels? Mm, almost. It's not quite that simple. Okay. When you own a Gallo's low migration solution on the label fire, you are owning a tool which will be able to produce food grade labels. But on top of that, you have also to follow the GMP principles, good manufacturing principles. And basically, these principles tell you when you want to achieve results which are compliant to GMP, all the participants in the production chain have to follow the same principles. So um, all the participants in the production chain, whom do you mean? Is it the substrate supplier, the ink supplier, the machine manufacturer, and the printer involved in the whole process? Exactly, all of them, and even the print buyer. All participants have to follow the uh, GMP principles on the levels of production, converting and even distribution. And what does that mean for the label printer? Well, he has to comply with a couple of rules. And uh, just to, for your convenience, we, we prepared a little list. The importance is that he is, for example, uh, separating strictly the low migration production from his conventional print production. And this on all levels like pre-press, printing and post-press. And the most important message here is right at the bottom of each column, he has even to prepare a documentation which will be legally robust to prove that he is following the GMP principles. And everything, all these measures, all the process steps only serve one goal, to minimize or even completely avoid any source of contamination. So low migration works only across the production chain in a team. Exactly, Florian. It's a team out of all your suppliers, out of your customers, and even as a team effort within your own print shop. Of course, you have to follow the customer requirements, that's for sure, and the GMP principles. And if you do so, then you will be able to issue a low migration certificate of conformity. And these conformity certificates are usually being asked for by your print buyers because they want to push back the migration risks to you as their converter. And only then, if you have the right tools and the right materials, then you will be able to produce uh, food grade low migration labels, which will be then certified by an independent third party. Very interesting. So a low migration product must therefore be tested by an independent laboratory. And besides the right production equipment, the entire production chain must follow GMP principles. Correct. And now we're coming to the best thing, the proof of concept. We as Gallus have already three label fires in the field producing food grade labels certified as low migration products. One of our customers is Birkhäuser, a Swiss print house close to Basel. And this just proves and shows our chosen, chosen low migration system approach consisting out of pre-press, ink and press is able to produce trustworthy certified low migration products. Of course, every time in combination with GMP principles. This means Gallus has several well-performing low migration systems in the market and uh, their operations are tested and certified by independent laboratories, right? So that sounds very promising to our audience and is a strong argument in favor for Gallus indeed. So Martin, thank you very much for this insights and for the interview. Uh, do you have something to add? Well, only one last word. We know, of course, that low migration production 
is a challenge for you. But with your choice of the right partners, you will be able to overcome them. Promised. So thank you for attending the Gallus High Performance Day. And on behalf of Gallus, I wish you a wonderful day.